10 divided by 2 is 5, is it not? Yes, it is. And it looks good on paper, but very often in the shop, when it comes to applied math, things don't work out the way they work out in academic math. Let me illustrate this point here with this length of chain here. There are exactly 10 chain links here on this one. And if I wanted to divide it into two equal parts, uh, it cannot be done. And the reason for it is cutting losses. You see, I have four links of chain here because I had to cut through one. And I have five links of chain over here. So yeah, 10 divided by two is five, but we have here five plus four. So how do we make sense out of this in terms of math? Well, you have to, sometimes you find in formulas that you have to subtract one for your cutting losses. And moreover, uh, you remember bad mass or PEMDAS or whatever it's called, order of operations, however it's abbreviated. Order of operations dictates that before you do a division, sorry, before you do a subtraction, you have to do division. So multiplication and division come first and subtraction and addition later. Well, in this case, you better do your subtraction first. The number of cuts need to be subtracted first. You're doing one cut to divide it into two parts. You have to subtract one and you're dividing nine links into two. You only have nine links left because one is wasted for the cut. So when you divide nine into two, that's four and a half. So what you have here is essentially four and a half, but this is four and a half is the length of chain that's remaining on average. You can't have half a chain link. That's not meaningful. So what happens here is one more glitch with rounding. You see four and a half rounded down is four and four and a half rounded up is five because the half chain link is not shared. It's one gets rounded up one and the other one, sorry, one gets rounded down and the other one gets rounded up. So one unit of four or one length here gets the half link from the other. So order of operations doesn't work in the same order as it is explained in academic math and rounding has its uniqueness. 4.5 gets rounded down against the rules to four and then gets rounded up in line with the rules and you have to round one down and round one up. Let's take a look at the same problem. What if you do two cuts with the same chain? I don't have another chain. I have a row of wooden blocks here. If I want to divide 10 by 3, academic math tells us that it's 3.3 .3 or 3 and a third. Yeah, you can slice wood like this, but you can't do it if this is actual chain links, you can't do it. Uh, there's going to be, if you divide it into three lengths, there's going to be two cuts made with it. The two cuts will be indicated by these washers. Say that one is coming out as a cutting loss and say that one. It doesn't matter where the cut is actually is, but you want to make two cuts. So then you will end up with a length of two that's waste. Here is a length of three, that's waste. And here is another length of three. In other words, again, 10, uh, before you divide, you need to subtract first, in this case, the two cuts. So 10 minus two is eight. So you only have eight meaningful chain links left. And eight divided by three is 2.666 or two and two thirds. So where's the two and two thirds? Again, it gets rounded, one gets rounded up, two and two thirds gets rounded up to three. Another two and two thirds gets rounded down to two. And another two and two thirds gets rounded up to three. So there you have it. Uh, rounding is weird. Uh, division and multiplication get done in uh, a weird order dictated by logic. So. It's a good use of your time whenever you do shop math to do an actual layout of what you're doing 
on a length of chain, it could be putting a, a sticky on the links that are coming out of a fixed length of chain or whatever helps you visualize it. Because math, when it gets applied, it can be completely counterintuitive.